This clip is brought to you by BatonLine.com. Um, I am born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, that is actually um, how I, um, you know, met the label that I was with. But um, as far as when did I know I was going to get into music? Um, so young that I don't remember. Um, because at a, a, a tiny age of, I grew up in church. So I can remember being like uh, five and six years old, having to go up on the pulpit to say certain things. Um, I didn't really start um, writing. I can say I, I've always been singing because I grew up in church. So um, I was always in like church choirs, the, the children's choir and, and the regular choir and stuff like that. But I started writing songs at the age of eight and um, like really writing songs, not just like uh, nursery rhymes, but real songs using words that I didn't even know the meaning of it or how um, I just knew I've heard the words before. <laughs> so, and it fit with the song. So yeah, I have been writing since about um, eight years old and um, music has been a part of my life since then. It was more so like your, your classic um, R&B era. Um, I grew up on because um, I came from a um, church background, we weren't allowed to listen to certain music, what they call secular music. So we had to sneak it. We listened to it, but we had to sneak it, listen to it. So a lot of what I heard at home was more so on the gospel side, like the clock sisters and the whinings and things like that. Um, but people that I would listen to um, on the side would be like your Michael Jackson and um, your Vesta, um, uh, with a little bit more age, like I was huge Whitney Houston, of course, Whitney Houston. Um, I think as a, a young girl, um, up into my teenage years, uh, Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey was probably my, um, um, inspiration as far as just single singers, but you had like your escape and, um, SWV. So, uh yeah, I, I all around, and uh, another another thing that a lot of people probably don't know, like if you're not a huge Jamie Foxx fan, like I'm a huge Jamie Foxx fan. I've been following Jamie Foxx from the beginning, so I was a huge Jamie Foxx fan because Jamie Foxx had like a really dope album um, when I was like I want to say maybe middle school, high school. He had a really dope um, album, so. Um, yeah, just music all the all way around. But if I could say who I specifically um, was inspired by, it would be Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, and C.C. Peniston was one of my favorites as well. I don't know if you know who that is, but yeah, she okay. was more on the... C.C. Peniston, she was really dope. And um, she was more so kind of on the, the pop kind of crossover side of... R&B, but I mm -hmm. love the and and now the older me kind of like okay, so I'm kind of like her because I don't I don't put myself in a box um, when it comes to genres of music. Peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on aboutthonline.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.